In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a little blast from the past. Back in 2008, was it? 2009. Two things took place. One, two guys got into a break room at Air America and did a show called Break Room Live. I was one of those people. I cannot remember the other guy's name. And during that uh, show, one of those guys, me, reported on what was going on at the Conservative Political Action Conference. Rush Limpah had just gone on the stage and done his best impression of Il Duce. And we will link back uh, at Majority FM to the entire video clip, because actually that part's pretty funny too. But uh, the stage at the Conservative uh, Political Action Conference, CPAC, was graced by a young man. And here is my commentary at that time. Now, the other uh, sort of big hit at uh, CPAC, in addition to the normal crazies, was this 13-year-old boy named Jonathan Crone, who, um, who I guess it makes sense that, you know, if it's not uh, a guy who is hopped up on hillbilly heroin or a guy who's an unlicensed plumber being your intellectual leaders, the next best thing is a 13-year-old. He's probably more intelligent than a lot of them, uh, but again, he's not terribly sophisticated. Uh, here he is, clearly having graduated from the uh, Limbaugh School of, uh, of Rhetoric, where he puts on a funny voice to talk about the people who are mocking him. There were too many people who threw this, the term conservative around who didn't understand what they were talking about. Uh, they, they didn't understand what conservatism was. They didn't understand conservatism as a base of principle, but they understood it as a base of policy. Uh, many people have come up to me and said, so you're a Republican, you know, you get up there and you do this Republican stuff and you talk about politics, and, I, and I'd always have to tell them that no. Hmm, fascinating. Now, what's really interesting, actually, is that this guy, Jonathan Crohn, seems to have really hit upon what the problem with conservatism is, although he, in fact, praises it. And that is that conservatism is simply about principle, has nothing to do with policy. I mean, think about the implications of this. Play this and think about the implications of a governmental philosophy or worldview that has nothing to do with policy. Many people in other ideologies think that it is the key to have, your, to have ideological power and fervor. fervor. Uh, in uh, the conservative viewpoint, we believe that it is principle-based. It is the people first, the people's rights, based upon principled views. And uh, I believe that this is the key to the conservative viewpoint and its effectiveness in America. He had started his speech by saying conservatism is about principle, not about policy. And the implications of this, of course, are that there are they are basically speaking Latin now. It's a dead language. It's good for the classroom. It's good if you're 13 years old and you're sitting around uh, maybe trying pot for the first time and want to impress your friends, or maybe some of the girls in class who are feeling a little bit alienated. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, at the end of the day, there is no point to any type of ideology or philosophy or set of principles about how government should be organized, about how society should be organized, if it has nothing to do with policy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is what I said in critiquing uh, this kid. You know, it's just a kid. Jonathan Crone's speech back in 2009. Well, it was reported yesterday in Politico that that 13-year-old boy is now 17. And he's become a man. And when you become a man, if you're genuinely a man, you learn to throw away little childish things. He says, I think I've changed a lot, and it's not because I've become a liberal from being a conservative. It's just that I thought about it more. The issues are so complex, you can't just go with some ideological mantra for each substantive issue. Now, I don't know if he saw what I had to say about him on Break Room Live, and this started a, an entire 
four-year journey of self-discovery? My guess is no, it didn't. He said, in fact, uh, it was really reading philosophy that didn't have anything to do with politics that gave me a breather and made me realize that a lot of what I said was ideological blather that really wasn't meaningful. Yes. It wasn't me thinking. It was just me saying things I had heard so long from people I thought were interesting and just came to believe for some reason. without really understanding it, which was exactly my point. You can spout these principles, but they are meaningless unless you're sitting in a classroom trying to impress somebody else. Or, I guess, at a conference of a bunch of conservatives who are morons. Remember, this guy went on to write a book defining conservatism. He is uh, very smart. And he says, uh, I think I was naive. It's a 13-year-old kid saying stuff they'd heard for a long time. I live in Georgia. We're inundated with conservative talk in Georgia. The speech was really something that a 13-year-old does. You haven't formed all your opinions. You're really defeating yourself if you think you have all your ideas in your head when you were 12 or 13. It's impossible. You haven't done enough. What is it that Grover Norquist said? I became a conservative when I was a kid. He just stayed that childlike. He won't go as far as to say he's a liberal, I want to be Jonathan Crone, and I'm tired of being an ideology. It's not fun, and it gets boring, and it's not who we are as individuals. Gay marriage in favor. Obamacare, it's a good idea, he says. Who would he vote for in November? Probably Obama. His favorite magazine? The New Yorker. And uh, he's going to ro enroll in New York University. At the end of it, he says, I've, I think I've matured overall. Well, Jonathan, I think you have too. And uh, so, congratulations, good luck to you. Sound like a smart kid. And um, who knows? Who knows where it'll end up? <laughs>